Hello students. So in the previous class, we people have seen, we people have completed about the pre-fertilization and the double fertilization technique. Now in the today's class, we are going to start the post-fertilization technique. Okay. So in the today's class, what we are going to start? We are going to start post-fertilization. We are going to start post-fertilization event. Post fertilization event. Now, before this, you people have seen the all development of the parts of the flower, and also you got an idea that how the process of fertilization is going to occur in the angiosperms. That is double fertilization and the triple fusion mechanism, and it was first discovered by the scientist called as Navaschin in the plant bodies like Fritillaria and uh, Lilium and later the scientist called as Guignard and it is carried out by the scientist called as Guignard and there you people have seen that when the pollen grain is landing on the stigma how it is helping for the rising of the pollen tube and how it is traveling and how it is reaching to the ovule and the first fusion is uh, the two central polar nuclei present in the embryo sac or female gametophyte and the next is we are going to see that is the first fusion. Next is uh, one male gamete will be fusing with the egg okay that is haploid haploid will be there two n number of uh, chromosome diploid zygote is going to be produced as I have told you in the yesterday's class. And uh, in the, uh, also there we have seen that uh, second fusion first fertilization and also we people have uh, seen the third fusion second fertilization there one uh, male gamete will be there and one uh, two that secondary nuclei what fused one secondary nuclei will be there that is the third fusion and the second fertilization and that triploid condition is going to produce the endosperm. 3N number of chromosome is formed over there. No? Yesterday I have told you. So triploid condition is going to form the PEN. What is this PEN here? That is primary endosperm nucleus. What is PEN? Primary endosperm nucleus. Now after that process, we are going to see the post fertilization event which is very important. And uh, before going to the event in detail, we have to see the definition that what is post fertilization. So post fertilization means the morphological changes, the process of morphological changes which occurs after fertilization. The process of morphological, the morphological changes occurs after fertilization, after fertilization is called as is called as post fertilization event is called as post fertilization event so the morphological changes which occurs after the process of fertilization see after the fertilization whatever the concepts whatever the changes is going to occur in the uh, flower that is called as what post fertilization event and uh, here basically we are going to see the four events okay here we are going to see four events that is the very first one is endosperm second one is embryo the third one is root formation and the fourth one is seed formation endosperm formation embryo formation, fruit formation and the seed formation. So here endosperm formation. So as I have told you in yesterday's class that when the secondary nuclei and one, one male gamete is fusing with the secondary nuclei it is going to form the 3N number of chromosome or the triploid condition. That is called as what? Endosperm. What do we call for that? Endosperm. Now what is this endosperm here? Endosperm is a nutritive tissue which provides the nutrition for the developing embryo. Once again I will repeat. Endosperm is the nutritive tissue. Endosperm is the 
nutritive tissue which provides the nutrition nutritive tissue which provides the nutrition which provides the nutrition for developing embryo which provides the nutrition for developing embryo that is called as endosperm endosperm is the nutritive tissue which provides the nutrition for developing embryo that is called as endosperm after the endosperm we are going to see the development of the embryo so in the embryo also two types we are going to see that is the dicot embryo structure or the dicot embryo development we are going to see two types that is dicot embryo development and also we are going to see the monocot embryo development what we are going to see monocot embryo development so this embryo development is a second stage of the post fertilization event the third stage is fruit so what is this fruit is here that is it can be defined as the ripened part of the ovary or fertilized part of the ovary what is fruit here ripened part of the ovary or we can say fertilized part of the ovary that is the definition of the fruit we are going to see in detail we will see one by one later okay last is fourth step is the that is the seed seed is the fertilized part of the ovule what is seed here fertilized part of the ovule is called as seed or we can say ripened part of the ovule or fertilized part of the ovule is called as what seed so these are the four events what we are going to see in the post fertilization structure four events we are going to see in the post fertilization structure that is endosperm embryo fruit and the seed now in the today's class so this is a brief introduction of the post fertilization event in the today's class we are going to see about the endosperm what we are going to see about the endosperm now here we are going to see the endosperm in detail okay what we are going to see endosperm in detail so what is endosperm here it is the fertilized part of the ovule or sorry i am sorry but it is not the fertilized part endosperm is the nutritive tissue which provides the nutrition for the developing embryo the definition of the endosperm says that it is the nutritive tissue it is the nutritive tissue which provides the nutrition which provides the nutrition for the developing embryo which provides the nutrition for the developing embryo this is the definition of the endosperm now here there are three types of endosperms are the there are uh, three types of endosperm there are three types of endosperm one is called as nucellar endosperm the very first one is called as nucellar endosperm second one is called as cellular endosperm second one is called as cellular endosperm third one is called as helobial endosperm what is the third one here helobial endosperm so nucellar endosperm or we can say not nucellar it is a nuclear endosperm we will say so nuclear endosperm it is a nuclear endosperm nuclear endosperm is see in the coconut okay then cellular endosperm is seen in the edoxa then uh, helobial endosperm is seen in the asphodel
Aspodilus. In the Aspodilus. These are the names of the plant bodies. Okay. So now we are going to see the nuclear endosperm. Now students, nuclear endosperm says that the endosperm where there is a presence of continuous nuclear division. That is free nuclear division will be there here. The endosperm which sorry the in which the continuous free nuclear division will be there. Okay, continuously the nucleus are going to divide and they are just pushed towards the peripheral region. The nucleus are pushed towards the peripheral region. Okay, so this is the nuclear endosperm. See, as the nucleus divides there, there is no stopping of the nuclear division. Okay, as the nucleus continuously divides, they just push towards the marginal region or the peripheral region. Okay, see, pushing of the marginal region or the peripheral region is producing the large vacuole. What here it is producing? Large vacuole and this large vacuole is uh, consisting of watery material. What it is consisting? Watery material. See, in case of coconut, coconut is the best example to understand this mechanism, nuclear division mechanism. That whitish layer is the endosperm. Inside that whitish layer, the water will be there. Okay. Coconut kernel is the complete the formation of the coconut here. So, watery material will be there. That watery material is due to the uh, free nuclear division which is moving towards the where peripheral region. Okay. And here you can see the embryo. Okay. It is going to provide the continuous nutrition for the developing embryo and also it is producing the, what it is producing? It is producing the nutrition in the uh, future fruit also. Okay. So, best example to understand here is coconut. So, what nuclear endosperm says? Continuous, continuous free nuclear division occurs and move towards the periphery move towards peripheral region peripheral region producing a large vacuole what it is producing a large vacuole so this is about the nuclear endosperm. Okay, this is the nuclear endosperm. Now next is, we are going to see the cellular endosperm. Now why do we say it as a cellular endosperm? Because here the cell wall formation occurs. Continuous free nuclear division will be not there. Here, the cell wall formation is going to occur in the cellular endosperm. See here, second one, cellular, what is this? Cellular endosperm. And what happens here? That is, there is a continuous horizontal, first horizontal cell wall formation occurs. Okay. Here we are going to see the development of the embryo. This is the embryo. Okay. And here cytoplasm will be there. Here the cell wall formation will be there. So in the cellular endosperm, we are going to see the cell wall formation. That means the division is low there. Continuous division will not occur there. Division is low there. Okay. So that is the cellular endosperm which is seen in the edoxone. Which is seen in the edoxone. Now here helobial endosperm we will see. So here helobial endosperm is an intermediate. Okay. So, before going to this, here cell wall formation occurs. Cell wall formation occurs in the in the cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm, it is the helobial endosperm. It 
This is the helobial endosperm where we are going to see that it is the stage present between the nuclear endosperm and the cellular endosperm. That means it is an intermediate. It is an intermediate stage present between cellular and nuclear endosperm. Cellular and nuclear endosperm. Okay. Now what happens here? See, first there is a division. Okay. Here there is a development of the zygote. We are going to see. Sorry, embryo is there here. And uh, nuclear endosperm you can see first. Then immediately the cell wall formation is going to occur. In the cellular endosperm also, if you see one more diagram here, cell wall formation occurs after every cell. See, these are the cells and these are the cell wall. Okay. If you see the nuclear cellular endosperm, cell wall formation occurs continuously after each division. Here also you can see, it is the intermediate stage. Here you can see the cellular endosperm. Here you can see the nuclear endosperm. Here we are going to see cellular. And here you can see nuclear. Okay. So this is our the helobial endosperm. It is the intermediate stage between the nuclear endosperm and the cellular endosperm. Okay. So, this we are going to see in the Asphodelus plant body. So, this is the first concept of the post-fertilization event. So, what is post-fertilization event here? The events or the morphological changes which occurs after fertilization is called as post-fertilization event. And here we are going to see four stages. How many stages we are going to see? Four stages. The very first stage you people have seen already, that is endosperm is there, second one is the embryo is there, third one is fruit is there, fourth one is seed is there. What is endosperm? The very first endosperm definition says that it is the nutritive tissue which provides the nutrition for the developing embryo sac. Then embryo we are going to see that embryo in future it is responsible for the arising of the radical and the plimule. Embryo in future is responsible for the arising of the radical and the plimule. Then we are going to see fruit. What is fruit here? Ripened part of the ovary or fertilized part of the ovary which is having more number of nutrition. Then we are going to see the presence of seeds. Seed is the ripened part of the ovule or fertilized part of the ovule. These are the four changes. So among these four concepts, today we are going to see only one concept that is the endosperm. You people are going to see here, toward in the board, on the board you are going to see here, endosperm is a nutritive tissue which provides the nutrition for the developing embryo. So here there are three types of endosperm. How this endosperm is formed? By the fusion of, see, if you forward, forget that one, forward that one, then I'll say you here yeah, fusion of secondary nuclei with one male gamete with one male gamete. Endosperm is triploid condition. Endosperm is triploid condition. So here three types of endosperms are the nuclear endosperm, cellular endosperm, helobial endosperm. Nuclear endosperm is nothing but continuous free nuclear division will be occurring here. Okay. Then cellular endosperm is nothing but continuous the cell wall formation occurs here. Then helobial endosperm is nothing but it is the stage present between the nuclear and the cellular endosperm. Apart from this other endosperms are there. That is xenia, metaxenia, ruminate endosperm. Okay, so this we will see in the next class in detail. Okay.